Hi guys and girls, it's Natasha back again with another video for those of you who are breaking out in a sweat as it's time for you to meet the parents. Da, da, da. Let me give you the scenario. You and your beau are getting on swimmingly. You guys have conquered meeting all of your friends and now it's time for you to be the male or female version of Ben Stiller's character in Meet the Parents. Hopefully you won't have a father-in-law like Robert De Niro's character Jack, but let's be real. Some parents are friendly, welcoming people who will try to make a good impression on you. But other parents won't make it that easy. And while you don't want to feel like you have to be someone entirely different around such parents, it doesn't hurt to be a bit selective about how you present yourselves the first time you meet them. So guys and girls, brace yourself because here are the five things you should do when you're meeting the parents. Number one, dress to impress but not too much. What you want is for the parents to realize how suitable you are for their little darling. Even if their little darling is five foot six inches and a banker and a CEO, the last thing you want to do for your clothing is to distract them from you as a person. You have to understand that when you're viewed from the perspective of an older generation, your clothes stand out much more to them than they do to your peers. And it can be difficult to pay attention to what someone's saying when you are surprised or shocked by what they're wearing. So generally, the plainer, the better. Number two, do your homework. Before you meet the parents, ask your boyfriend, girlfriend, did your parents like your ex? Why or why not? If they were liked or disliked, is there anything about the former exes that they should be aware of? Dig for character traits, not unchangeable things like race or status, you can't do anything about that. But for example, if the parents didn't like that the ex had no direction in life, talk about your goals and plans. Number three, Compliment them. If you're in the parents' home, look around for something you sincerely like, don't fake it, trust me, you can see through it, such as some artwork or an area of the house. For example, I love your kitchen. It feels like we're in Spain. And don't try and fake it because honestly, parents can smell fakes from a mile away. Number four, find common ground. Are the parents into sports? If you follow the same form of sports, this can be a good conversation topic. But if you're fiercely dedicated, you know, against their particular form of, of sport or you support their rival team, you might want to avoid this subject for now. Number five, try and gauge their body language. Now follow your other half's lead on this one. Over time, you'll be able to pick up on what, your pa what the parents like or dislike about you and adjust accordingly. Some parents might like that you're holding your boyfriend or girlfriend's hand. Others might feel uncomfortable with it and give you the look of shame and throw some daggers at you. So keep your cool, keep your wits about you, and I'm sure they'll end up loving you just as much as their child does. That's it for today, guys and girls. I hope you liked it. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Bon voyage for now.